Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I'm sitting here on a Father's Day, I'm recalling what it is to be a father to someone who is no longer living in the American continent. I also am a grandfather, so that maybe gets a double whammy, but I am at the age of being able to do that. When you have a child that you've reared until adulthood and they go off and produce a family on their own, as they should, that produces grandchildren. And openly, no one can say that a person did not parent someone, provide for them their whole life, but predominantly without horrible strife, but with some strife, as most people get through the teenage years of angst of childhood. But reality is truthful. The truth is the truth for most people. And the truth is that other people outside of relationships have no rights to the inside of relationships. There is always an immoral person, a local gossip, a city shitbag, who thinks they have rights to try to prove things that are not their lawful right to know, hear, or even be involved in at all. When a man says these things, people say, oh, you want to bet? And the answer is no, I don't want to bet. I want to remind you of what your life is today. At the present moment, your life is where it is today. If you're living in a week-by-week -week hotel, it means you're not producing a life that allows you an apartment that pays month to month. Or you're not being allowed a home, which is where you pay some sort of, I would imagine, monthly investment to the purchase price of that particular mortgage. Again, I'm not an expert in that, but I knew several, do know several people who are pretty good in that. My life partner is excellent in a lot of things, but when I talk about my life partner, I'm talking about a female in my life. I might be talking about two females in my life in my book called Soul Keepers, but how I met them and where they met me is still remaining a secret. I might have disclosed a few details just to provide a little bit of basis and premise for that conversational part of a book that's really focusing on reminding you about the art and style of building a relationship today. People who like to play with people, use people, abuse people, and then leave people usually don't make it well in life. They're always job hopping, they're always looking for a new boss, they're always looking for a new ride, they're always looking for a new time, and that is not healthy in our life. You see, stability and security is what produces a real living today. It is what builds business revenue today. It is what allows us to keep our lives open and out of difficulty and out of things that we would want to be at bay from. But in life, we have most of the time to speak the truth. And the truth is where you are today is not where you're going to be tomorrow. And where you are this moment of time may not be where you will be next year at this moment of time, but all of that is totally, 100% up to you. But when you start to use part of your free time to interfere with someone's life, to abuse their computer, to ruin their keys so that they have to go out and create a different way to grab those keys to be able to actually type in the world today, you're really an abomination to the Lord. You're trying to be a funny person, but you're not funny to anyone who receives your abuse. You see, technological abuse is no different than psychological abuse or emotional abuse, intellectual abuse, or something called gaslighting, which is a form of litigation abuse sometimes where someone is constantly trying to tattle and make lies about a person's name so that they can just ruin someone's reputation in the world. So that there's all these fictitious records that are out there in the world on someone's life, and they do that usually because they have lied or stolen from that individual. They've either lied about them in record, which is usually the truth, or they've stolen something from them that they don't know how to give back or they can't give back because they either lost it, broke it, or stole it to the point that they sold it. And frankly, they probably had no rights to do any of that at all. Whereas if they had been on the level, if they had talked to someone, if they had been involved with something else, they might not be in trouble with the law. Now, in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and in my life, I know what truth is truth. I know what truths are truth for me. I also know that other people may have different truths about their involvement with me, but that doesn't mean that their truth overrides my truth. You see, there's always a man who wants to play up and give you a little bit of extra hand, but then he's looking at, okay, what do I get for me? As opposed to being a liaison for the Lord. You see, a liaison for the Lord is someone who knows how to protect not only his own hoard, but knows how to share what he has. 
I know a lot of people who've practically done pretty well in network marketing, to the point that some of them have marvelously retired. But did they get to that point because they were st constantly in struggle and constantly needed to keep working at it? Or did they get there because they played a different game? They talked to people who they thought were lame. They s invested time in other people. They learned to lead people. They learned to serve people. They learned to present better. And they grew a great deal over time. In life, every human being has the opportunity to grow. In life, everybody has the opportunity to get out there and get to know people who are in the know. You see, you don't know what you don't know, and that's the truth. If you want to know something, if you want to figure out how to do something, then you pick up a book that's relatively new, and you read it. Sometimes we can learn about our own selves by reading books from the 80s when certain topics and certain industries were a lot more popular. And the content of the book has not really evolved to significantly to the point that what is written back then is not still valid today. But in the world of technology and in the world of marketing and in the world of a lot of things, there's a lot new more information coming on down the pike. What I always marvel at in the world today is how people are quick to lend an opinion to topics that have nothing to do with their life. When they should be focusing on keeping their life on track, keeping their life headed down the stack, if you will, or headed down the track, if you will, headed down their life's journey, if they can, and openly making a life worth living to get to retirement worth having. And if you don't even have that, how are you going to be surviving in your elderly years when you're too tired, when you might be in one of those mobile cars or you might be running a rollator like I do because someone decided to destroy my medical rights, invade my privacy rights, actually mutilate parts of my body that wasn't their lawful right ever in this lifetime to see. And frankly, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. So in life, let's just be clear, there are monsters in our world who lie, steal, and cheat us out of our lives today. I pray for you that this never happens to you any day. But to those people that I love, to those people that I've been waiting to see, for those people that I long to see, for those people who have harmed me, God help you today.